Brothers and sisters, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Brakathu Yahweh, Brakathu Yahweh Shai, Brakathu Yahweh, Brakathu Yahweh Shai, Brakathu Yahweh, Brakathu Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone our spiritual teachers, salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, risking their life week in and week out, and shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this ministry. All praises and glory is due to our highest power, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. I was just meditating today and I was thinking, what? We can't fathom how beautiful that kingdom is going to be. That new kingdom, that new rulership, that everlasting kingdom. We cannot fathom what it's going to be like. So don't think it's going to be a walk in a park. That you just become, you just think that you become an Israelite and that's it. You have to work towards that kingdom. And the Most High knows how beautiful that kingdom is. So you have to work towards it. Just like a job. If you're going for a job that you really desire, you try your utmost best to learn about that company. Right? All the ins and outs. So when you go for that interview, and then the... um employer ask you some way of questions that you may not expect but because you're so dedicated into getting that job right you want to please the employer impress him it's the same thing we have to do we have to impress we have to please we have to serve we have to dedicate our bodies as a living sacrifice to serve Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai in order to get into that new kingdom, that beautiful everlasting kingdom, that new rulership which is going to be here on earth. This earth here that we live in is not going to be done away with, it's not going to vanish, it's going to be renewed. So wherever you are in this world right now, wherever you're standing, you're sitting or sleeping or eating, wherever you are standing, that place is going to be renewed. And we look forward for that. That everlasting kingdom. That new beginning. So we're only talking about the scriptures, what it says, what the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, has promised. He's chosen. He has promised who worked for that kingdom, fought for that kingdom. So I was meditating over it and I went into the um, blue letter and typed him everlasting kingdom. And this is what came up, but quite about, about six verses, all right? And it's so, oh man, I'm telling you, brothers, sisters, an everlasting kingdom, no more pain, no more suffering, no more hatred, love, 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 love. That's what's going to be. That's the genuine love. But in this kingdom, we have to show the true love, which is serving Yahweh Sham Yahushai and following his laws, statutes, and commandments in this present rulership. In order to get into that new kingdom. And it's going to be. I'm going to bring up some scriptures, right? Let me bring them up. First of all, 
I'm going to go into um, Psalms 145, 13. And it says, right? Even when I was reading it, it felt beautiful, but we still cannot fathom how sweet that kingdom is going to be. How sweet. Psalms 145, verse 13. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Not part-time, everlasting. Everlasting. And thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. So it's going to be generation upon generation, generation upon generation, generation upon... It keeps on going and going and going. Let me say again. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endureth. So when I looked at that word dominion, it meant sovereignty, realm, right? Sovereignty is a supreme power or authority. Imagine being in that realm of sovereignty, of that true power. Power. Also known as Yahweh, our true one power. No other power is beside Yahweh Basham Yahushai. So, is that realm of sovereignty, that supreme power, supreme, the highest of the highest, the most maximum of the maximum. Imagine being in that. Generation after generation. Huh? And it endureth. Endureth. It keeps on going and going. That's how we have to endure to the end. That's why the scriptures plainly said, whoever endure to the end, right? Those will be saved. All right, we know we're at the end of the end now. But if you die in this truth, in sincerity, right? That is also enduring to the end. Also, if you keep on, if the Most High still keeps you going to the end, end of the end, which is during the, the, the um, before the chariots come, you're enduring this truth. That's the same thing too. You endure the prosecutions, you endure the torture, Right? You endure the, the guillotine, right? You endure Jacob's trouble. Huh? Prosecution for the Haoba Sham Yashai namesake. Standing for him and his son. Not denying him. Not to take that mark, mark of the beast, the RFID chip. All right? So imagine being, right? In that superior power. Oh, we can't fathom that. We cannot understand that. We only know the low level power that this Esau has. Running companies, yes. Okay. Um, big, largest corporations. We only know that, 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 that little tiny worm of a power. Because we're at the bottom. So when we look at Esau's power, which they're blessed with, right? We look at it as a higher power because obviously because they're above us. But imagine the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai's power. Power upon power. Right? So let me go to Daniel now. And I've got a few of them in Daniel. Right? Remember I went into the blue letter and typed in um, Everlasting Kingdom. Right? So Daniel now, 4 verse 3. All right? And this is when Nebuchadnezzar dreams about a tree. So I'm going to go, to, go, go to Daniel 4 and 3. How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. 
His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his domain, dominion is from generation to generation. All right. So that was um, in Daniel. Same Daniel again. Uh, I'm going to 34 now. Right? Same Daniel. Verse 4, 34. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me, and I blessed the Most High. All praise be. That's why we always say, all praise is due to our power, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. And I praised and honored him that liveth forever. Forever. How sweet is that? Whose dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Right? I'm going to go again. Daniel 7.14 huh? Daniel 7.14 And it says again Right? The book of Daniel And there was given him Dominion and glory And a kingdom That all people, nations And languages Should serve him his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. This kingdom here is not going to, when this is renewed, this kingdom here is never going to be destroyed. It's going to be replenished and renewed. Right? And it will never pass away as he said here, as Danny said here. Right? His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. So this con this 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 kingdom, this new rulership is going to continue forever and ever. For a long, 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 long time. Right? And it would never be destroyed. Never be destroyed, brothers and sisters. Something to fight for. Something to fight for, right? Uh, oh, so lucky. Uh, I knew I had two in that one. Um, 714. Oh, so lucky. Yeah, here we go again. I knew I made a, a, a mistake. Uh, let me try to get it quick and don't fall asleep on me, brothers and sisters. Please, Baba Kusha, right. Where am I? So lucky. Let me. I, I might have to go back to it. Yeah. Right. Let me go back to it in a second. Yeah. Right. I don't know if I read seven. Which one? Seven fourteen. Seven and fourteen. Yes, I read that one. And there's another one in seven twenty-seven. So lucky. Right, same in the same Daniels, yeah. Where Daniel's um, dream was interpreted, yes. Right, and the kingdom, and dominion, and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints. Now, I I had to bring that back out, the saints. You brothers and sisters, right, that are chosen, right, are the true saints. The true saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. We, that's the main thing. You know how good that is to be. In this wicked rulership that we've been trodden on, kept down, and we still 
give honor and respect and due respect and worship to our highest power, Yahweh Basham Yahshai. That's why it must be a blessing when the Most High opens your eyes and your ears. It must be a blessing. It must be a blessing. The saints obey him. So if we are trying our best to obey him in this kingdom, and let me tell you something, you know, the obeying doesn't finish there. So obeying the most high Yahweh in this dirty, nasty flesh, this flesh that lets us down all the time, the most high will be pleased with you if you're all sincere. But imagine it don't stop there. Imagine going to that everlasting kingdom to obey him in a proper body. The right form, the right state of mind, the right heart with the right mind. Now check that out. Check that out. Imagine. That's deep enough. Imagine being in a perfect body serving Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Can you fathom that? So you 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 you're crying every day with joy. And you're serving him. You're obeying him. Listen. I'm telling you. This is not based on my own interpretation. So for you scoffers. Or you evil doers. Right? Who think that you know all. Right? That's something going to come to you. You will know when that new kingdom comes. That these scriptures are speaking the truth. These scriptures are speaking the truth. And it's only for the saints. Of the most high. Of the most high. Not you heathens. Right? Not Esau. The Edomite. The so-called white man. Listen, I didn't say that, you know. The scriptures said that. I'm just following the scriptures. I believe in. I believe in these holy scriptures. Okay, good. So that was um, Daniel seven twenty seven, uh, and the next one now is the next one now is is, is Second Peter one and eleven. Now remember this. Second Peter one and eleven. Hey, let me start from 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Give, give diligence. Try your best. Study the scriptures. Do the work. Right? Not everybody's called. Do the work. Try doing little videos. Not everybody can do videos. Not everybody's a teacher. If you could be a helping hand to the body. You remember what it says? I'm just going off the top of my head. That even if you, if, you, if, if somebody passed by and give a, a, a drink of water to a prophet. The most I can remember that. Right? There's a scripture for that. But I'm just, that just came to the spirit. Right? So that's how beautiful it is. That's how sweet it is, how the Most High is so sweet. Everybody's got a role to play. Every single human being under the sun has a role. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence, right? Work hard for the Most High, right? Don't forget the basics. Don't go into a deep, you don't have to be deep. Because that's balance again. Because you have some brothers that are deep. Some brothers that are basic. Right? Give diligence. Hey, let me tell you something, right? And this is it down to your sisters. I'm talking to you sisters too. You could be a help too. You could help a brother. You could sew garments. All right? You could bring a, 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 a glass of water for them. Right? You could bring some food for them. 
But it's all in sincerity, sisters. Believe in Yahweh Basham Yahshai first, and the most high will increase you. It's all about the men. It's all about the men. You have to follow the order, sisters. It's all about the men. But for you beautiful sisters out there that are trying, because you're going to be right in the kingdom. You're going to be right in the kingdom. But you can be a help to the body in any basic way. That's why it doesn't have to be about all being deep. It's all about some sincerity. Right? The humbleness. You know how beautiful it is for a woman to be humble? It's a beautiful feeling when you're following the law, starts and commandment. Okay? It's beautiful when you know the Lord's name and you call upon his name. Right? You're serving him. So you sisters, Baba Kasha, deal with the brothers, deal with the brotherhood, deal with the men of the Lord, help the brothers, be a helping hand, right? Give diligence, right? So it's about the men. But I'm saying that the women, I'm talking, I'm giving, I'm trying to uplift you sisters too also to be humble and to and to and to and to, and to um, serve your Yahweh Sham Yahshai to the best of your ability and be a help to the body. Could be anyhow. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. Salakia, fall. You see, it pays to read properly and look. Ye shall never fall. Oh, praise be to Yahweh Sham Yahshai. Hear me now. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our deliverer. Yahweh's beloved son who died for us for our sins right Aye. for so an entrance shall be ministered into you abundantly the Mosai is not mean you know he's not half heartedly like he give half half the Mosai give full Full on. He's full on, brothers and sisters. You're not skimping, skimping. Right? There's a scripture that it says, it is more better to give than to receive. And the Most High promised that he'll give you in abundance. Right? So listen now, even in this kingdom now, no matter what situation you are in, Give your brothers in abundance. Give your love. Anything you could do to give. Give your brothers and sisters in abundance. Show love. Don't be mean. Alright? Don't be mean. Because if you're mean, the most I'll be mean with you too. The same way, if you don't forgive a brother and sister, the most I will never forgive you too. That's heavy, you know. Give. Alright? Some brothers are, uh, 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 listen to me, right? Some brothers don't have much money. I understand that. It's not all about, you could give, it, it, charity comes in different forms, all right? It's not all about the money. It could be a brother asks you to do something for him, you do it for him, right? But it's about the giving, right? Pay your tithes. Pay your tithes. Everybody's situation is different. It's not for me to say who must pay and who must not pay. Right? Because the Most High provides. The Most High provides. Remember that the Most High always provides. So if you have trust in the Lord and you have faith in the Lord, you know the Most High provides. 
right? Why can't you pay your tithes? Pay your tithes. Okay? I'm not saying you must pay because you want that in return. In sincerity, pay your tithes. To our elders. Okay? Because if it wasn't for them, believe me, we won't be in this situation now. So whatever money you get, it doesn't matter how low it is. If you get 10p or 10 cents, right? Or any other currency, no matter how low it is, that's why the most I said 10%, you know. The most I knows what he's saying when he says 10%. But like I said, not everybody's situation is the same. But the most I knows your heart. If you can give 10% out of one pound or 10% out of one US dollar, Listen to me. Let me tell you something, right, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you something, yeah? Don't be mean with your Hawaba Sham Yao Shai. I tell you from now, don't be mean with your Hawaba Sham Yao Shai. Listen to me. Everybody's circumstances are different. Because you have some brothers out there who spend money on a pair of expensive shoes, spend money on an expensive this, um, expensive this, expensive that, expensive food. Right? Because the Most High blesses you with that money, you know, when that money comes, you know. You forget that. The Most High blesses you. No matter what it is, no matter how low it is. That's why he knows by giving 10%. Because by giving 10%, he knows that it's so little that you can survive on that other 90%. He knows that. The Most High is a fair judge, a fair power. Don't be mean. Do not be mean towards Yahweh Basham Yashai. Right? So if you want that pair of shoes and it costs 50 US or 50 pounds, okay? And you want that shoes, delay those. Listen, I'm not saying you mustn't get the shoes. Delay it. If you're going to get it this week, delay it by another two weeks, three weeks. But pay your tithes wherever, whenever you're supposed to pay your tithes. Pay your tithes. Do not be mean to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai because you forget, you tend to forget that the Mosai gives you food to eat. He gives you daily bread spiritually, mentally, physically. Do not be mean. You hear what I'm just saying a while ago, right? Because the Mosai said, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly. The Mosai is not mean, he's not tight. He's not mean. Do not be mean to Yahweh Ba Sham Yahushai. Right? Do not be mean. So I'm telling you again, brothers, if you're not being charitable or you're not paying the tithes, all right? Like I said to you, everybody's circumstances are different. You must know yourself. Right? No matter how small, that's why the, I'm going to say it again, no matter how small that you, you live and you're struggling, the most I knows your heart. He knows you. Right, but if you're sincere and you know you can squeeze that little ten percent, do it, brothers, because the Most High will be pleased with you. Try your best. Try your best. All right. So that's all I wanted to bring out. Right, I just went off a little bit. When I say off, not off as in terms of going off, off as in saying wrong things. I didn't thought think of saying that. It just came into the spirit to say that. Because I read that last scripture about the abundantly, the everlasting kingdom. So don't be, don't be, don't be mean, yeah. I hate a mean brother. I hate a mean sister. So with that, all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba Sham Yahushai, and double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom.